Hi, thanks for checking out the blog. Uh, this is Ryan. And right now what we're going to do is tie up a tube. And to be more specific, this is an 18 inch long red, red wine colored, I guess is what you could call it, piece of tubing. Uh, so cut a 18 inch long piece of tubing. It's a good length um, for imitating sandworms and milky ribbon worms. A lot of those worms that live in the sediment. And what I have right here is a 24 inch long of 220 pound Malin wa uh, wire. And they use this for, you know, offshore shark fishing, rigging baits, but it also works very well for tubing for bass. So what you do is you start by just threading the wire into the tube. And I like to put the hook on first. And what we're using right here is a size 9 aught mustad. Has a slight offset to it. I'm always experimenting with hooks for tubes, but I'm almost at the point of settling on this hook. And the first step is to thread the hook onto the wire, leave a couple inches, make a bend, grab a pair of pliers and just crunch that down a little bit and get a grip with the pair of pliers like so and wrap the wire around itself maybe like six or eight times and you want to keep it as clean as possible so that's just about good and you definitely want to clip this tag end piece of wire as close as possible. One, it will make everything sit better in the tube. And two, that can get caught on your finger when a fish is, uh, you know, flopping around. And that can cut you up pretty good. So if you have a pair of wire snippers or cutters, give it a snip right there. Another method, I don't have a pair of wire cutters on me right now, is to use a hammer and a chisel or a flathead screwdriver and just get the flathead screwdriver as close as you can and this actually works a little bit better even than wire clippers it's kind of unconventional but it works and just give it a real good whack like that right there I'm not gonna do it right here because I might knock the camera over but just give me two seconds I'm gonna give this a real good whack um, on the wire, snip that off, and then we'll continue. So I'll be right back. All right, so that went well. I didn't hit myself with the hammer. And you'll see that that is real pretty right there and that will slide very nicely into the tube like that sometimes I'll cut a notch right here you'll see tubes that have a notch doesn't seem to make much of a difference so I'm just gonna leave that one as is so the next step is to push the tubing down the hook some so, so it's like that right there. And even further, just kind of pull it down and hold it like that. Then you gotta take a barrel swivel. And it's always good to make sure it's at least rated for like 100, 150 pounds. And then make a bend just above the tubing there. And then use your pliers again. Cinch it down. Same technique as with the hook. And then just wrap it around another six to eight times. Same deal with this. You want to keep it as pretty looking as possible because any loose ends of the wire can cut you up pretty good when you're handling a fish on your boat. So there we go again, I have a huge tag end there. 
that I'm going to have to take care of. Excuse me for a second. So I'm going to go do the uh, thing again. I'll be right back. Okay, so that went well. You can see it's nice and pretty there. And because you scrunched it down on the hook and pulled it down when you were rigging, the whole setup will hide nicely in the tube. So you want as little terminal tackle as possible coming out of the tube. And what you can do is instead of using a snap swivel to connect this, just push this up and um, probably have to use some pliers there. You can just tie your leader directly to the top of that. Now I'll elim eliminate the need for a snap swivel, but in order to prevent line twist, you need to put a barrel swivel up your leader a little bit. You can use a barrel swivel to connect the leader to the mono um, and that will you know, help eliminate the line twist. Now if you do end up getting line twist, which you will because you're not using the snap swivel, it's inevitable, you will get a little line twist in your leader. What you can do is just cut the tube off and just let your leader and maybe the first three or four colors without anything attached, just drag behind the boat for five minutes. What will happen is the twist will unwind itself and you'll get a uh, nice looking leader again without line twist. So that's a uh, quick fix for that. So that's about it right now for rigging a tube. You follow the same exact process for any size tube, any color obviously, and it works pretty well. So thanks for checking out the blog again, and um, hope to see you out on the water.